Oh, they've unconned now. Can I can I finish some cores soon? Uh, like four months time. Well, all I want is... Wow. More than I can have. Uh, I will leave Guhi behind. What? There we go. Just a little bit overextended. Don't, don't even. Don't, it's fine. Don't don't worry about it at, at all. It's it's fine. These bitches think I need fucking skyships to go ham. No, fam. We do what we want regardless. Also, we can invite the... Oh, you. Monthly admin power is not bad. I prefer Starry Eye, though. Tug Hayasa doesn't like me anymore. Wait, our alliance broke? We have a null treaties? Son of a bitch! Until when? For another nine years. That's... Us, really. Uh, which other ones do we like, anyway? Dev cost is pretty dope. Orange Sash could be useful. I mean, it's a monthly admin power. Like, if I have this for 50 years... Sorry, 50 months. Which is not that long. It pays for itself. Beautiful. Uh, let's build some more manufactories. But not these ones. These are shit. That one's not bad. But the rest are shit. Don't like inflation. That's rude. Oh. Byekyung. Where the fuck's Byekyung? Here. You know, full core you. Absent merchant. My merchant was assassinated. That's rude. Yeah, I'm actually out of manpower as well, which is wild. Guess. Wait, what? There. Explore the next place. Why is it Yan Zamborst? Is it just because I'm colonizing it? Looks weird. We can do temple restoration now as well, actually. On Jiantxiang. For only 100 crowns? Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, okay, so... The two textile manufacturers are done. Weapons is not done yet. I thought weapons manufacturer was done. Where's my copper? Here. Weapons manufacturer is done. Oh, it needs production of... What is it? Production of eight? It needed a production of eight. Okay. Now it's done. And three naval equipment manufacturers... One is almost done here. One is almost done here. You need production eight, apparently. Uh, and where is it? Was I building it here? That's just a workshop. Here, no. Baked gang, no. Where was I building it? Do I need three? I did need three, and I've only built two. I guess baked gang can have. 
one when I have the money. I want that money now. Give me a monopoly on silk. Fuck it. But it's still gonna take until like another five years. That's so annoying. You're not gonna run out of yeah. You run out of places to explore. Uh, Jensiang, we can full core. I think Linximing as well. And Yiguan is here. We'll full core that as well. And we're out of admin points. But we've got seven years until the next uh, admin roll around, so we're good. Jensiang itself, I will upgrade its harbor. Don't know why I said it like that. Don't worry about it. And same with you. And same with you. And then I ran out of money. Still don't want to join my trade league. I, I feel like that might just be bugged. Trade league's just straight up fucked. Oh, I really wish, I really, really wish that I'd remember to do the manufactory earlier. I thought I'd already done it. Needing three, though, is very annoying. Wait, didn't I build one in Seasing? I didn't build one in Seasing. Fuck. I should have built one in Seasing. 322 ducats. How about you not? More coring. Yeah, going over extended actually wasn't that bad for me. My governing capacity is great. Like, just pure amazing. I don't know. I've not had, I don't think, like, any problems in this campaign. Anyway, you can do that. You can try and make your way back here. God, you're here? Oh, ships are being lost. My bad. My bad. Fuck. Balls. Did any of them make it? No. Um, just, just give me, like, five. Not in the same bloody province. Muppets. Dang going in solid, oh, that's rude. Actually, we can make you my rival again. I think I've got a... Yeah, I've got an embargo on them. I have an embargo on you? Not yet. I've got one on you. Okay. In accordance to the primary design principle behind them, that of reducing weight as much as possible, most airships were not armoured whatsoever, relying on their height to forestall damage. Electroplating allows an extremely thin layer of metal armour to be coated on the outside of the essential areas of the airship, preserving as much weight as possible while also providing at least a modicum of protection against stray bullets. I want to look at what that is. What does that do for me? Electroplated hull gives me morale of armies and fire damage received on artificer regiments. Okie dokie. 
uh, let's do Artifice Investment a couple of times again as well. Oh, I can also in, uh, recruit Artificer Generals with six fire. That's going to be super useful. I imagine that's the same as the, uh, the Mage recruitment. So I could probably end up getting like an 11 fire general eventually. That would be actual fire. Uh, and also, I knew one of these. Uh, Deving taxes, 50% chance to get taxes. Meh. Global number of buildings is dope. Free trade for ship trade power. Domestic trade power, merchant trade power. Eh, it's fine, I guess. Deving colonies. Meh, kind of meh. Curtail the burgers. Goods produce modifier. Monthly dip points. Dip advisor cost. That's all good shit. Empower the burgers. Trade buildings give dev cost. And I get trade efficiency. Both of these are really good. I think I'm going to curtail them though for the goods produced. Seems really, really powerful. Ya Zhong as well. I'm going to full core. What's this place? Nianqing. 25 dev. Yes. And Ya Zhong. Yes. Beautiful. Ooh, you finished, so you can go here. Oh, but that one isn't finished. So I guess you can go here. Uh, good morning. Formed a new tag? Yes, we are now Yan Sheng from Phaeton. What's the war crime count? Well, it's still kind of just Tianlu, even though we owned it at the time. Uh, but then we did go on a bit of a conquering spree, and we're kind of just like pretending to be good guys again. Uh, the uh, we did some Yanshen Accords, and we said we were just going to use them for trade. But then, about five minutes after we said that we're only going to use it for trade, um, we researched. Uh, what was it that we researched? Swooping crane bombs, which is kind of like not very peaceful. So, you know, it is what it is. It just is what it is. We, we do a little war criming. It's all good. Everyone's mostly happy. No problems. Swooping crane bombs sound very merchant like. I thought so too. Uh, Miltech cost, we can wait until January for that. So at the moment we're just, you know, big old coastline man. Shit tons from trade. Everything's going really well. Really kind of get annoyed at doing colonization, though. I'm uh, not colonization. Exploration. It's 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 taking a long time. Are you guys like stood together now? You fucking absolute pack of muppets. Can you get at least this guy? And, and bring him somewhere else. Like, bring him down here. Yo, not like that. No, 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 no. Go here. I'm gonna have to do this manually, aren't I? Very, very annoying. Alright, boots, come here. Am I going to attack the Ruinborn? Yes. Like, here, there's just so many precursor relics, it's kind of necessary. So 
Stay alive for now. Get down here. Just, I don't care if these ships die. I just need them to stick around for long enough so that I can get my guys onto one of these provinces. There we go. What? No! Shit! Balls! 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 Give me access, motherfucker. Thank you. And you're all about to die anyway, so I don't care. Whatever. And then in one month we take some Miltech, which is now three days left on the Miltech. And our guys are going to start doing a lot of fire damage. Like, you've got no friends and 20,000 troops. Tech 9. We're looking at a solid 3 tech advantage. What if I just bring the... Uh the sailors. Can I build more sailors yet? Yeah, I can build 12. I love that um, boats don't take barely any time to build in this mod. It's actually one of the best things about it. Probably build some mercs while we're there as well. Temple complex restored in Jensiang. Very nice. And I guess you can have this guy. And we will have you teleported. Nope, not teleported. Transported to here. Treasure Fleet Seeks Iron, sure. I start making shit tons of money, I wanna have a look at this again. So at the moment we're at 161, I think it's gonna go up next month. 185, fuck yes. 182, okay, so 185 is now the maximum we get from the trade ships. It only lasts like a few months. 220, oh fuck me. Okay, all right, cool, that's chill. 249. 249. 249 is the new record. God damn. That's fucking dope. You're gonna get stuck now because I don't have access through Dekakian. Give access and I can cancel it through you in a moment. You can continue colonizing. God damn, can I have this fucking mission done? Three provinces. It's it's baked to gung, isn't it? Yeah, you're just fucking so slow. Come on. What culture are you? Oh, it's religion that we're fucky on. We just accept all religions, apparently. I 
On a giant open space, the men find strangely round hills. As they approach, the magically gifted among them get a massive headache and strange hallucinations. When he recovers, he urges his companions to get the adventure captain. He and his advisors inspect the hills, and the chronicler quotes the elder story. And the angry gods awoke the earth and made it swallow the glowing city. So maybe we find the domes under these. The adventure captain agrees and orders the men to dig at the first hill. After a few hours, they bump into Dame's Tier, and a few minutes later uncover a whole railing. There are definitely buildings under these hills. The glowing city is real, and we found it. Continue digging. Free it from the earth. Hell yeah. Dame's Tier will be produced in Yanquibar. So this is where the glowing city crashed. Yanquibar. Okie dokie. It's too far... Oh, it's, it's like 25 away. No, fam alive, fam alive. Give me, give me that colonial range. I want the glowing city. It will be mine. Give me the colonial range. It's the first time I've ever wanted this. Yanquibar. What? No colonists. Right, that makes sense. You recall. You can also be recalled, as can you. Oh, and some gold there? Fuck yeah. Oh, kept on dip. Might as well just take that. Did that tech give me colonial range? No, it didn't. do is more battle mages because they're great um also i can start building artificer infantry yo they're mad expensive but i can build 34 of them and also national lace i think uh this this army right here is uh is looking um shite there we go get rid of you garbage horses the horse is bad now actually funnily enough And it's, it's individual as well, right? I can have 34 National Eats and 34 Artificers. That's fucking cracked. Ran out of manpower before I ran out of uh, the ability to make more. Are you dying again? Yes. The time of artifice is now. Everyone go to Tianlu or something. These guys, these mercs, I'm just getting rid of now. They they were useful for a long time. The time of artifice is now, old man. Oh, I've got some battle mages here as well. Actually. I feel like it might be a good idea to just split them into three distinct and separate armies. Oh, I can't wait to get artifices in the uh, in the multiplayer. Okay. 
don't think I need to worry about that. Yeah, I need more manpower. That'll do. Don't think I need that anymore. The cost of my armies is kind of irrelevant. Anyway, let's go, uh, let's go war crime. Oh, you're already being war crimed. No. Nah. Yo, do you want some condottieri? I will give you. I'm at war. Fuck. I'll wait and see what happens here, and then we'll declare after. Did you get stuck? Oh my god, you fucking lump of shit. I'm gonna have to attack mate as well. They would actually be pretty easy to murder. Soru is a tribe. Interesting. Maybe these guys can actually come down here and we'll just attack mate instead. I don't want to subjugate them though. So maybe we'll just build a spy network and get a single claim. Someone broke their alliance with me? Was it Balrogin? It was Balrogin, you absolute scum. Absolute scumbag. Uh, I want also the barracks building. Very unhappy about how little manpower I have. Oh, Jai Dao has fallen. F's in chat for the Zia. I feel like that's going to be my responsibility eventually, isn't it? Also, how long until you've built the god- oh, you've got it. Hey, fucking finally. Just like an ocean-going ship, a balloon requires three major things. Wood, canvas cloth, and armaments. The specifications to which these three things are needed are much different, however, as each piece must be as light as possible while remaining reliable in the winds. This will, re uh, this will require special manufactories. This will require special manufactories, workshops, and associated facilities to accomplish. So, fighting gates, jellyfish, balloon building boom, dev cost, and trade value, and modify will be doubled if the province has 12 production. It's got 21, mate. I think we are alright. The voyage. I need to be at peace, and I need to have a light ship in fighting. Let me just, let me just fucking build a new one there. We need to be at peace anyway. I guess I'll have that province. It's a trade center, I guess. Sure, whatever. I don't feel like I did anything to deserve that, but alright.
Yo, hang on. We're in 1543. Let me just, I'm just going to check. I'm not going to load it, but I just want to see what year the multiplayer game that I'm in as one Zia is in. 1546. Fam. If, if the fighting player had played fighting in the multiplayer as... I don't say it as well, but like, uh, just competently. Like, he could have been so fucking cracked strong. Right, these artifice regiments, especially when you consider um, the various things you can add on to them, are just insane. They're so good. He could have been rich as fuck with a really strong army, and I don't, you know, one's ear, my one's ear is fucking cracked strong, but like, it wouldn't have been a walkover like it is in the game right now. I mean, look at the amount of money I'm making, and it's the same mod, like nothing has changed here. We definitely don't need this anymore. Like, 35 national elites, 35 artificers, and 26 battle mages? That's... I, I don't know. I wouldn't have been able to beat that, I don't think. That's three really cracked armies. How many other players in Yanshen? Uh, well, this is just single player. But in the multiplayer that I was talking about, um, we had a... Uh, what's it called? Bai Hongzheng that failed hard. Um, we had a Verkal Ozovar, which was part of the reason it failed hard. I mean, they were allies for a good while. Um, and then... The Bai Hunjing player was doing really shit and decided that he wanted to uh, basically int and attack Verklozva and took the Verklozva as a vassal. All of Verklozva's vassals themselves then became independent. Uh, we also have a pretty decent Raj Nahaga, uh, who are now called Haradim Raj. Uh, we did have a Van Raha, but that tag is broken, so that stopped. That no, became AI. And then we have a Phyton who is just floundering. And then I'm one Zia. Yeah, I feel like there was definitely room for um, for Phyton to do really well. And they just kind of didn't. I don't think it's a like the the player called it like a bullshit tag and all that, but it just it just isn't. It's a really fucking strong multiplayer tag. All right, can we be a piece? Fam alive, just like stop being at war. No other player to complete with fighting in the whole subcontinent? Yeah, up here? No, just me. I think what we've encountered here is a, a terminal skill issue. Uh, I'm going to go fire ideas now to, to giga buff my... Uh, my artificer regiments. Got infantry fire on there. Yeah, let's do that. Free real estate for me, basically, at this point, yeah. 
So blockade impact, infantry fire, artillery combat ability, artillery levels as fort, shock damage reduction, artillery different back row, land leader fire, and land fire damage. Gonna make my army just for giga cracked. Like, there is no excuse. Fighting is not a bad multiplayer tag. Mana farm every 15 years. Right now they are, yeah, but the next time I go to war, I will be taking land. I'm gonna take, uh, like, the Zuo Yip, or whatever they're called. Zoot Ute. I'm gonna take Zoot Ute as a vassal. Ooh, Dragon Dominion. Cool. Kind of a weak flag, I'm not gonna lie. Cool name, though. This is the war. The, what? What is th Sid? Sidpar? The fuck is this? The ever living, breathing fuck is this? Absolute border gore. What is? Uh, fam. By the way, you couldn't find anywhere in the video on the Amian ending. Uh, it ended a little bit. Unfortunately, um, there wasn't much after, like, I think we had one session after the final episode, but it was kind of shit, and I didn't bother turning it into a video, because there was nothing really happening. The stage is set. Phyton Bay is crowded with hundreds of vessels, both on the sea and finally in the air as well. A sort of treasure fleet of our own. More than a rival that are the one the faraway Triunic visitors have ever mustered. Once final preparations are made, we'll finally be ready to set off. The more boats we send, the greater our potential reward. Oh, I should have read that first. Well, I will send all of the fucking boats, because I don't give a shit. We'll send them all. Do I wait another? No, I don't. We got enough. We got enough. 66 boats is good enough. What are artifices actually? Gun-toting magicians? Uh, basically... Artifice is a way for non-magical people to do magical things. So it's things like a wand of fireballs, but like using mechanical... Like um, like the, the dude in, if you've seen the show Arcane, uh, the, the animated show Arcane, it's basically like that using, like, you know, magical blue ball to, to do magical things, but anyone can use it. You don't actually have to be magically adept. Anyway, uh, let's go on a voyage. Boom. Done. The debate has raged for days. The vast majority of our merchants, with a greedy glint in their eyes, speak of absurd wealth to be gained to our south and west. The thick, trade-giving lifeblood of the Karanyana and the grandest city in all Halles, in Stramyana, on its banks. Another faction looks towards north and east, where the recent minor expeditions probing the eternal storm have revealed a strange land of elves that are not quite elves, ripe for exploitation. All the meantime, our vast fleet sits wasting away in Fighting Bay, sails hung limp and balloons folded on deck. Another two weeks may pass before any consensus is made, by which time half the sailors will have snuck off in boredom. Enough is enough. The Silken Council and Yin Jiang Zheng will choose. Towards profits untold. Like, al although, although Shuimu, I, I do like the Shuimu getting more influence. We're going to go with the Shwimu. That's a great series. It really fucking is. It's so good. Anyway, I need more uh, boats. Can't quite afford that many, can I? No, I need like a month. I lied, I needed two months. The songs, especially the last one. Oh yeah, I, I need to rewatch it. I need to rewatch it. I watched it when it first came out, and I need to watch it again because it was. It, it's just. It's. Re it's really, really, really fucking good. And now I'll have a more, a deeper appreciation for it after playing Fighting. 
I think the best part about that show as well is that you don't need to know a goddamn thing about uh, League of Legends. Is it League of Legends or Dota? I actually don't have a fucking clue. You don't have to know a single thing about it. Because I've never... I, I am fucking completely ignorant. I've never played the game. Um, but I still loved Arcane. It's, it's fucking amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Big fan. So what do I need to do uh, for the World's of Oyster? I need Republican Tradition of 100 and 3 Stability. Well, I'll get the Stability now. Republican Tradition of 100 is kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie. Make a racket run like us. Nah, nah. I think what we're needing to do on that one... Actually, I, I could just spend mill points, right, to do it. It's my friend's favourite show ever, I think, and she's never touched League. Honestly, most of what's in Arcane is new League lore and doesn't do a lot other than give you a general vibe about the 300 dudes rather than exploring a story. As weeks turn to months, the fleet pushes ever north, with balloons taking to the skies periodically to chart the course. Emerging dangers such as icebergs and other such hazards are deftly avoided. With clear skies ahead, all is going well, until suddenly a sudden chill enters the air. Breath crystallizing to frost, the captains yell for their balloon lookouts. No answer is forthcoming, as for some strange reason, their eyes are now unable to focus on the northern horizon sliding away of their own volition. The formerly ice-free ocean quickly starts to freeze, splitting the fleet in two. While the south still remains clear enough to sail free for now, the northern fraction now trapped between jaws of ice. Um... What well, blast! You know, we just started blasting! May you scout sky be clouded with ash? Luo Yip, you absolute wanker! So rude. So rude. So so rude. After all we've done for them as well. So, while I would love to get a 666, like a lot, I would fucking adore that, I need the Republican tradition. So we're going to go bureaucrat. Historical friends can be so many. Historical friend and my march. I guess we should probably improve relations with them, though. Alright, let's use the artifices. Swimmingly. They did swimmingly. I don't have any buffs on them yet, so they're not, like, as cracked as they could be. I do not want you to circumnavigate the globe. Thank you very much. Man stopped exploring. He's explored all there is to explore, apart from this bit down here, but that's probably fine. Uh, give me military access, thank you kindly, and we'll have the boats drop you here. Oh, actually, you can just march now. Why can't you do this? You can only do it in colonial regions. Apparently, I'm not in a colonial region. What a f... <laughs> Why is this not a colonial region, Burtis? What's going on? At long last, we've reached foreign shores. At long last. Um, and what sweet sight that shore is. Already our beleaguered captains have landed trading parties, exchanging essentials with the natives, Eordans, 
of the area and replenishing our stores. It's one of these trading parties that catch wind of the recent discovery of the precursor ruin by the Sneckboth. At the relay of this news, the mood of the Shimu engineers that we brought along shifts perceptibly. Now this was something that could take, make these long months of seasickness, seasickness worth it. They would like to send our own expedition to explore these ruins independently, though surely this would anger the natives that have laid claim to the area already. Did I just give them some fucking money? Do I care if they care? I don't care if they care. Fuck you guys. I won't let these savages dictate what we can or cannot do. Do what we want. Oh, you fucking... Oh, this is so annoying. Fam. What? What in the ever-living piss? Oh, hi, Laurent. Fucking so annoying sometimes. Magic portal facts. It's because a lot of, like, in this. Where, where'd the army go? Oh, they're right there. Uh, in this mod, um. The colonial areas are completely scuffed. Just beyond scuffed. Right, can you now search for seven cities? Like, this should be part of a colonial region. Like, of course it should. And things like... Um, if we look at areas... A single province area... A single province area... A single pro Like... This is dumb. Single province areas. It's like this whole colonial area is just... They didn't give a flying fuck about it. Which is hateful. I hate it. Um, things like, you know, all of this is wasteland instead of being, um, you know, whoever is supposed to live here. I can't remember the name. Um, a bunch of these provinces have been merged so that their provinces could be reused to create rivers. This is the Amgremnos River. Amgremnos is over here, my dude. It's one of these fucking cities. This is not the case in Vanilla Ambana. No, it isn't. Vanilla Ambana, it's not fucked. <laughs> in Vanilla Ambana, they gave a shit about the colo uh, colonial situation. Uh, but this, uh, Burris is not a fan, I guess, of colonies. I don't know. I, I really dislike this part of the mod. Like, fucking... Fam. And also things like... Has it been fixed? Oh, there, it used to be that one of the provinces of Colonial Endraliande was, like, up here. Or here or something. Like, it used to be in the wrong colonial region. MP focus? I mean, sure, you can say MP focus, but at the same time, um, these guys colonize, right? So, why screw with the colonial areas? Makes no sense. Makes no sense. Anyway, the attitudes of the Ruinborn we encounter seem to thaw as we move south down the coast of this Eordant. As we sail along the region they called Smafadar, they... We can see that trade and seafaring seem to be a natural way of life for the natives in this area. Word is already spread around for our arrival, and two groups make themselves known. The first are representatives from the city of Murdkather, seat of the Summer Court, eager to cut a trade deal and for us to establish a presence in the city. The second are the merchant lords of Smarfadar, loosely aligned group of merchants who operate their own armadas and trading operations, independent of any single state. Their interest is of a more practical sort, and are interested in appraising the fleet and your balloons first hand. Uh, do I get an, a sick ass admiral? Or try, I don't get a navy tradition. Navy tradition is pog. In your limited MP experience, most players don't go that route. General consensus: you don't win through colonization or find it boring. 
I mean, I guess, but I don't care. I mean, it, it should still be there for the people who do like it, which is, you know, more than none. Uh, also, leaving, like, the likes of, like, Kios open to be reseeded uh, for players who get murdered out of their old homes is just good for lobby health. Is there a mod for buildings, racial estates, ideas only without map changes? I wish. I wish. I, I, I really wish I was a good enough modder. I'm not any kind of modder, so I wish I was a modder uh, so that I'd be able to do something like that because I would love that so much. Because, like, the, the thing I love the most about this mod is the racial estates. I think this is fantastic. I just wish I could have that. I want my cake and I want to eat it too, you know? Getting a Republican tradition up to 100 is a bit of a twat. As the city of Phyton grinds to a halt in preparation of welcoming family and friends back, the mythos of the voyage has already spread like a late summer jellyfish bloom. The halls newly filled with exotic spice, exotic goods, and even exotic people will surely only add oil to the flame. More important than the goods themselves, however, are what the leaders of the expedition have been able to secure in the final leg of the expedition. In writings from leaders of the city, the rights to build our own specialized infrastructure to better facilitate the use of our balloons. So a total of 29 ships returned, and there's a total of 1,400 ducats. Alright, so that's cool. Um, I get two colonists, global settler increase, ship trade power, and navy uh, tradition from protecting trade. Will they be able to use the sky post mechanic so long as the grand sky port is built? Uh, newly unlocked decision for details. It grants it against the conditional modifier sky posts. Grants it. Where the balls is grants it. Aha! Uh -huh. You've got the sky post. Or you will. And we've uh, we've got the sky post menu, which is all this. Total number of sky posts that can be upgraded or supported depends on the level of Grand Skyport and Phyton. So my capacity is five at the moment. We can convene the Silken Council and construct a sky post. We can dismantle one, hover over for monthly duty breakdown. Nothing. Well, I would like to construct a sky post. Wait, Fighting doesn't have one? The Grand Skyport doesn't count as a sky post. Well, I feel like it should have one. So, we're going to do that. And also just upgrade your uh, tax thing. Also, a bunch of my ships returned. Lovely. Protect trade in... Um... Actually, can we, like, uh, privateer... The Gulf of Rahan yet? No. Yes. Let's go fucking piss on Bavaria a bit. Am I making much money from Spoils of War? Only five ducats. Yo, but we're trading in Precursor Relics? Fuck yeah. Actual pog moment. All right, well, with the sky posts finally opened up, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to I'm going to stop to stop here for today. Uh, very much enjoyed uh, today's um, session of uh, fighting. I will be back with more Anbanar later today in approximately eight and a half hours um, where I'm playing as the one Zia. Um, in a multiplayer campaign. 
So if you want more Ambernar and you're going to be around in eight hours, uh, maybe throw me a uh, follow and uh, you'll be notified for when I go live with that. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we're no longer fighting. We're Yanseng, but uh, we're basically the same thing. Um, yeah, I've, uh, I've, been, I've been Lambert and I will see you guys uh, later today. Bye bye. If you liked the video, please help me out and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Maybe leave a comment down below too, it really does help out the channel. If you have the means and are willing to, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. It's the best way to support me and the effort that goes into creating the content you've just watched and hopefully will continue to watch, and allows me to focus more on making videos without the stress and worry of another meteor striking my channel, be it hacks, demonetization, or the third adpocalypse. You can also support me by heading over to Twitch and following there, or joining my Discord and being an active member of the community. All those links are in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.